begun. Meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? My name is Brandon Herrera, and if you are watching this video, that means I am definitely still either passed out, hungover, or lost from my New Year's endeavors. So greetings from 2019. I figured I still have about five hours left before I go into 2020. So while I am still conscious and of sound mind and able to do so, I figured I would record a gun meme review for you guys. But first, gotta get on the pathway to end my sobriety. Ah. Support the GOA. Full transparency, the GOA does not pay me to endorse them. Uh, however, I do fully believe in them, and I am starting to wonder if I am missing out on a potential tax write-off. Got a couple of unique things this episode, so let's just go ahead and roll into those gun memes. First up on the lineup is something that is kind of weird for gun meme review. It's, a, uh, it's actually a fairly serious event that happened just a few days ago at time of recording at a church in Texas. I'm sure some of you are familiar. Long story short, for those of you who are unaware or maybe don't have the full picture, there was a potential active shooter situation where a lone gunman walked into a church in Texas with the intent to do harm to innocent people. Lo and behold, an armed citizen, actually several armed citizens, stood in that man's way because, you know, Texas, and in that otherwise uneventful Sunday morning in Texas, a hero emerged. A hero by a name none other than Jack fucking Wilson. Just a split second after the first shot is fired, Jack Wilson stands up, draws his 357 SIG, and domes this fuckhead from like 50 feet. Might be a little insensitive to call him a fuckhead, but my uh, tolerance for you as a human being drops about down to zero once you take your first innocent life. So uh, as soon as he did that, he went from mentally deranged individual to fuckhead. But this was a fantastic case of a good guy with a gun ending a bad guy with a gun and undoubtedly saving several, several innocent lives. There is zero doubt in my mind that if it weren't for the actions of that one individual that morning in that Texas church, we would be having a very, very different conversation right now. So before we get started into any of this, hats off to you, Jack Wilson. Your actions undoubtedly saved lives and this one is for you. Now, of course, because of the nature of the situation, the Instagram gun meme community absolutely exploded pretty much as soon as this happened. So uh, now that we've got the background all taken care of, let's get into those sweet, sweet gun memes. Psycho tries to commit a mass shooting at a church in Texas. Armed citizens. Okay, get in. Seriously, out of all the places, out of all the states, Texas? Oh, a church in Texas? You know, the one place that conservative Texans are going to be gathered together in one place? Seriously, we saw like seven people that were armed that responded to this situation in that room, in the video alone. Interrupting Dorothy and I's Jesus time, you heed your last haw, boy. And heed his last haw, he did. As soon as that shot was taken, that dude dropped. It's an excellent shot. I mean, I, I, there is no way in hell. You guys have seen me shoot a handgun. I couldn't have made that shot. So seriously, hats off. That was an excellent, excellent. Uh, under pressure, with people screaming all around you, completely unprepared. I, I cannot commend him enough. That was that was excellent. Bad guy scalp. Bad guy skull. Bad guy brain. Jack Wilson. 357 Spicy Boy. That was the other semi-miraculous event of that morning, is uh, the revival from beyond the grave of the 357 SIG. Jack Wilson almost single-handedly brought that caliber back to life as it was considered a dead or dying cartridge, really kind of in the industry. And uh, sure the hell enough, out it comes. If this had happened like a month or two ago, I'd almost be expecting some SHOT Show announcements. Still might happen, the industry's pretty shameless. Fuck a reload, just shoot him in the face. Big dick Jack Wilson. I'm not usually one to comment on the size of another man's member, but if anything else, Jack Wilson's putting off some major BDE, also known as Big Dick Energy. Ah, from the Glockter. Tomorrow, stop and take some time to thank a boomer. Now this is the one thing that's kind of been funny about this meme is that he's become like the boomer folk hero, uh, which I don't know, boomers kind of taken on a, you know, the whole okay boomer meme is it's really kind of taking that word to like almost a disrespectful level, like almost kind of like a shade thrown thing. But but considering the amount of praise that we're, we're heaping on him, obviously, you know, everybody kind of regards him, whether he regards himself as one or not, we regard him as, as a hero, at least in that instance. And uh, I don't think the implication is negative, so. Rock on, Boomer. See, even though it's like objectively true, I'm pretty sure that just, it sounds wrong, but ah, harmless, I guess. Attempted mass shooter. I'm gonna shoot up a defenseless church. Boomer with a P229 in 357 SIG. No, I don't think you will. Cap approves, Boomer to Boomer. 
Uh, speaking of, Arsenal616, not all boomers are okay. Some are awesome. And this is where I will take a minute to plug Jack Wilson's brand here. Um, I know there's not a lot that uh, the people that were there could do to repay him, but uh, for somebody who just respects his actions and everything, the least I can do is shout out his company here. Please respect his privacy on Facebook, obviously. The last thing he needs is to be harassed uh, uh, in private messages and things like that. But uh, I do want to shout out his company, uh, On Target LTC and On Target Firearms Training Academy. Given the shockwaves that his actions have, uh, have made, I highly doubt that he's going to have any problem filling up those courses for the next couple years. So if you'd like to support him, it seems that those are the places to do it. Ah, uh, I did see this. This is very funny. If you haven't heard it, Marty Robbins' Big Irons, one of the best, best old Western style songs ever. That whole album is good. Gunfighter Balance? Pfft, awesome. But somebody <laughs> rewrote the lyrics uh, for the, uh, the boomer with the big iron on his hip. And it is quite wonderful. So wonderful, in fact, we did this. There was 40 feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the boomer is still talked about today. The zoomer had not clear leather, but a bullet fairly ripped. And the boomer's aim was deadly with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the virgin on the ground Oh, he might have kept on living, but he made one face slip When he tried to match the boomer with a big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip For the record, I'm already sorry about that. No, not really. But moving on. Two types of men in Texas. Ah, there you go. We get a cameo from a gun meme review veteran, Bed Beto O'Rourke. It's been so long since he's been relevant, I actually forgot his name there for a minute. Yes, on one side of the aisle, we have people that respond to mass shootings by calling to take away guns from the rightful citizens that should be protecting themselves from such situations. And on the other side, we have the guys that prefer to step up, put their money where their mouth is, and stop those shootings before they happen. I know which one I'd rather have in the Senate. As for a rating on this meme, I'm definitely gonna have to go the obvious route, and I'm gonna rate this meme 357 SIG. Come on, tell me you didn't see that coming. And I think that is about all we have for the Jack Wilson memes. If I can just take a minute here at the end of this, um, just to kind of reiterate something that I really shouldn't need to say, but I feel like I probably should. Just try to keep in mind, this is not something that we would be normally covering on a gun meme review, an event like this, but uh, at the same time, this is the sort of event where the more people hear about it and the more people are exposed to this for the first time, look into it, it, it might be changing some minds. And, and it's good to see positive cases of a, an armed citizen stopping something like this before it turns into something really, really atrocious. And uh, there is an unknown amount of people who are still going to be able to spend 2020 with their loved ones uh, because of the actions of this guy. So I know it's not as, uh, I guess, just slapstick funny as Gun Meme Review normally is, uh, and maybe slightly inappropriate in some senses. I, I do think that it is an overall net positive that we talk about this and, and kind of get it out there because I think people need to see more events like this and less events uh, where we're making the wrong kind of guy famous, the, the kind of people that are going out and committing atrocities like this. But I just would like to point out, remember um, in all of your, your happy memeing that you are uh, obliged to go out and do, just remember that these are real people we're talking about and there's real people that uh, are mourning their loved ones right now. So just try to be respectful of that. But on that note, uh, I still have a little bit of time left before I'm expected to go off and join some of the New Year's Eve festivities. Uh, but before I do, I'm gonna go through a couple more gun memes because I love you guys. When your girl sneaks into your phone and realizes you're more likely to build IEDs and illegal machine guns than to cheat on her, I don't know what I'm feeling. Speak for yourself there, homeboy. Um, I have the licenses to build legal machine guns, so that's not a thing, and IEDs scare the ever-living fuck out of me. Either that or I'm a serial cheater. Hi, Mom. Teacher. Why are you smiling? Me. Nothing. My mind. Trank. That's just some rank Photoshop. It's, it's actually pretty decent. I mean, as Photoshop goes, not too bad. Could have matched the colors a little bit better. Derailment? Thomas the Trank Engine doesn't give a fuck. The violence has escalated. Jesus Christ. 
I know this is definitely airsoft by the way this is set up, but holy shit. If you're actually putting rounds down range and actually manage to uh, dump your entire combat load out, uh, that gas tube and gas block would be pretty damn hot there. Be melting right through those $5 mechanics gloves. <laughs> Still, excellent me. Virginia Democrats to citizens. We're gonna take your guns by force. Virginia sheriffs to citizens. You're an Avenger now. I've gotta say, I've really gotta give it up for a lot of the rural Virginian law enforcement. They are not taking that shit laying down. And uh, it's really cool to see that spirit alive in Virginia, the place where the first American Revolution kicked off. And I just realized I got put on another list by saying first American Revolution, fuck. But that has been something that is probably one of the most requested topics in all of Gun Meme Review in the last few weeks is the whole Virginia Boogaloo situation. Kind of a crazy deal, it's really heating up, so maybe we'll talk about it. Maybe next time around, next Gun Meme Review will be the Virginia Boogaloo Special. And remember, we do these Gun Meme Reviews the first and third Thursdays of every month, so if you are new to the channel and this is the first video you've seen, you like the content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can join the hashtag AKG Notification Squad that you no doubt see in the comments. If you comment in the first hour with something including the hashtag AKG Notification Squad, you too could be entered to win things like t-shirts, swag, and all this cool stuff. Actually, now we're not sponsored by Pew Pew Tactical yet, but we probably should be. Those are cool guys as well. But yeah, all things considered, I'm down for a Virginia Boogaloo special. Well guys, that about ends things for my part of this gun meme review, but don't go yet because we have a special bonus meme segment brought to you by none other than James Reeves of TFB TV. Be sure to check that out. And by be sure to check that out, I mean like wait on this video for like 15 seconds. As for me, I'm well on my way to going out and clearly drinking too much and ringing in the new year with a bang. And then I'm gonna have to say- Hello, I'm James Reeves with TFB TV and this is the lowest point of my life. Gun meme review with Brandon Herrera. Got some memes to review here. Let's see this one. <laughs> Swipe right, I said. <laughs> that was that was that, that was a that was a picture of a man's penis. <laughs> but that's not a meme. That's not a meme. Uh, you're at the range with your girl, and this dude walks up and starts talking about his 10 millimeter. What you do? Um, God, this one. You can basically see my 10 millimeter in my pants. 10 millimeter. That's not very big. That's like one centimeter. That's not, I mean, you guys know what I'm saying. Like, like big, that's a big penis is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Next one. Okay. Here we go. I've seen this one. I like this. It's like a take on the drink meme. Um, you know, the thing where he's like, and then he's like, um, anything block. It's me putting in my hair protection, but I still got a stupid smile on my face and everything else. And it's me doing my, uh, uh, my annual Christmas list and I'm like, cold. So I get that, I get that. And that's basically true. That's, if it's not Glock, it's not Sig, uh, get that weak shit out of here. No, I'm kidding. This is an exaggeration and uh, another terrible meme. Would you? Okay. When your mother-in-law comes to visit and says Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, True story, I was very reluctant to even post this picture because it is pretty grisly, notwithstanding the comical effect from like my Cleon head wig thing. You know, it's like, it's clearly a very shitty wig, a, a fake set of hair there. And, but it still looked pretty bad. Like it's me like pointing, and true story, this was actually taken at a Christmas party. This, of course, the og went up after the drinks started flowing little bit after the drinks started flowing. I, you know, I was reluctant to post it. I post it and then Tactical Chad, uh, shout out, you know, this guy does uh, some pretty funny shit on the gram. He posts this and then I post it and I share it in my story while I'm at a stoplight on the way home. Irresponsible, I know, but I'm, uh, I post it. And then I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh shit, Miss Debbie's gonna see that. Like my mother-in-law's gonna see that. And she's gonna think that, like, literally, I'm threatening her with murder. So I had to get home and delete it and repost it because Miss Debbie, I love her so much. She's probably watching this right now. Uh, Miss Debbie, if she, she checks my gram, if she saw that, she'd be really upset. So this was actually hilarious, not a shit meme. Uh, very good job, and I had to warn my Miss Debbie about it. Oh, okay. This one, 9mm SMG. Pretty sad day, pretty sad day. I was at Glock, uh, Glock HQ in Austria. I mean, I guess there are some people, their invitations got lost in the mail. They were upset, 
but I was over there, me and Gaston, we were flossing, uh, riding around in his S-Class convertible, um, hollering at broads, Austrian broads, and shooting blocks, and having a good time. And then everybody, all the rumor starts, the rumor, the innuendo. Everybody's talking about the Glock 44, it doesn't have a threaded barrel, mm, you know, shit like that. And so I saw, and bear in mind, and 9mm SMG, if you're watching this, bear in mind, I had no idea who was saying what about what as it relates to the Glock 44. All I saw is there were people in my comments, so this wasn't directed at anybody in particular. All I saw is that in my comments, people were like, oh, they're not even making a threaded barrel for it, or oh, you know, like it's made by gypsies and sweat camps, or like some shit like that. It was the, um, a bunch of irrational bullshit that I saw in my comments. And so like at that point, I addressed on my Instagram, I said, hey, look, you know, people are saying they don't make a threaded barrel for Glock 44. Here it is. And next thing I know, character assassination. Here it is, character assassination. Uh, when James at TFB hears you saying the Glock 44 doesn't come with a threaded barrel, and it's got me with the, uh, whatever, that little Greta, Greta Global Warming girl. The, how dare you? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, you, you stole my childhood and my dreams with this baby. Next. <laughs> oh my God. I never saw this one. Another one, another tactical chat. I don't know this guy, but knocking him out of the park. A real man loves his woman every day of the month. That's me um, covered in blood. And by blood, I mean uh, that is corn syrup and water. And that was, that took me literally an hour to get off. Just like when you love your woman every day of the month. I see what's going on here. I haven't hit play. Well, hold on, that's a picture of penis again. This is in my office moments ago. I'm pretty sure that jacket belongs to Paul Harrell. Oh my God. Dude, dude, don't rip on that jacket. That's G-Star, that is authentic G-Star. Come on, tell me that jacket doesn't look like it belongs to Paul Harrell. I'll go get it. I'll go get it right now. That thing's what? fucking sweet. Oh, get that, that jacket and say it. this gun it fits your hand better than this one does. Gun me review. 